Yeah, Rita's unlucky as hell, boy. Like, JT come back. He just starts getting ramped up. Has a little bit of good plays in Jacksonville. Has a little bit of good plays first week. He's probably now going to start turning it on. But, I mean, he could save our season. Uh, Jonathan Taylor saved our season when we had once a quarterback. He could do the same with Gardner if he gets enough involved. Receivers this year are better than the year we had Wentz. Um, and tight ends are better, too. Um, defense is just as good, if not better, than that year. Uh, it's really just going to come down to QB play. If Minshew plays decent, you know what I mean? He just played awful. If if they play decent, they're good because they gave up only 230 yards to uh, Trevor, gave up two touchdowns, one interception, though, against them. And that's one of the best QBs in the league. They're playing a QB who's a little bit worse. I'm kind of leaning towards the Colts this game. Dude, I was thinking to mention that. Listen, yesterday, before I went to bed, I watched um In the Trenches podcast with our two linebackers, the two, like, top linebackers on our team, which lately has been Zaire Franklin and EJ Speed, right? Second half of their podcast, they brought on Jonathan Taylor. Taylor had mentioned how he was mad all year, you know. The narrative was getting written about him and also how he felt like he couldn't help the team win, you know what I mean? And he seems so confident on the show, bro, that he's about to have a big game. And sure, it might be 75 yards, but I feel like he's scoring a touchdown at least. He's getting like 75. I think Moss is having a good game, and I think we're running the crap out the ball. Um, I think the Colts win by field goal. So, we'll see. But if the Colts pass the ball 55 times again, we're screwed. Those two videos were recorded during the week. That one that you just saw was yesterday morning, um, Friday morning, basically. Um, And then the other one was basically the day after the game, which is Monday. Back on that Monday video, the first one you saw, I thought it was going to be P.J. Walker. It's looking like it's going to be Deshaun Watson. Does this change how I see the game? No, not at all. Almost a one-handed catch. let's Let's mute these guys. Listen, it comes down to three things. In this Colts Browns game, and I, I I mentioned it over the time of those videos, it comes down to three main things in my opinion: holding the line, and that means on either side of the ball, who is going to win that battle? Can the Colts offensive line give Minshew enough time if the Colts are running right to go? And it, it's just so weird because I don't know what the game plan is going to be, but I am putting my my heart in Shane Sykin's hands, and I am believing all the way that he's going to do the right thing. And with that being said, um, second thing, run game, either either side, who's going to have the better run game? That kick was blocked. Whoa. But who's going to have the better run game, right? Is is uh, Kareem Hunt and um, the other guy for the, for the Browns. Are the, are the Browns going to run all over the Colts? Are the Colts going to run all over the Browns? I think this is low scoring. Early on in the week, I was like, oh, it's going to be high scoring. Nah, both these defenses are great. I'm thinking 13 to 10 Indy. And I'm thinking Indy is down 10 6 late. And I think JT busts off a big one a 40 yard run, 50 yard run type of thing. He's kind of slowly ramped up all game. He lets one loose. And there is just mayhem at Lucas Oil and just serendipity. And everybody's happy and everybody's excited. Um, I think Indy wins 13 to 10 on touchdown late. And then they're obviously going to have to play defense. But I know what Indy brings to the table on defense. We're going to see what they do on offense. I'm pretty hopeful. Hopefully you are too. Go Colts for the shoes. Sorry this isn't well put together. I, I, couldn't, do, I couldn't do much. Goodbye.